Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use one of the best farm builders online, as I will be showing you step by step how to use Cognito Farms. Cognito Farms is a platform that is beginner friendly that you can use to create surveys or create your own farms that you'll be able to collect person's data and you can also accept payments with these farms. For instance, if you're creating a farm for a 5k or an event that you would like to collect a fee for also, you can use their platform to do that as you can integrate Stripe or PayPal or SquarePay to collect payments. To get started, you can use their free plan. On their free plan, you'll be able to create unlimited farms and you can collect up to 500 entries per month. And as I said, you'll be able to accept payments on the free plan. The only pullback is you'll only be able to accept payments using Stripe and Stripe will take a 1% processing fee. But if you upgrade and go to one of their paid plans, you'll be able to choose from Stripe, PayPal or Square, Square Pay. And you, from there, you can use either PayPal or SquarePay and you won't have to pay a processing fee. But once you are signed up, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. And by the way, to sign up, all you need is your email address. You do not need to sign up with a credit card or anything like that. After signing up and you're on your dashboard, all I want you to do is go over to the left-hand menu option Right where you see new form, you can tap on the drop down arrow and you have two options. You can either choose a template or you can start from scratch. For instance, if you were to tap on choose a template, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you can see numerous templates that you can choose from. So you can scroll down and you can select a template of your liking. You can also go over to the left-hand menu option and you can select a form type that you want or you can select an industry or you can select a feature, specific feature that you're looking for. You can see there are numerous templates that you can select from, which is why I do recommend Cognito Forms. So if you're a complete beginner and you just want a quick form, you can simply do that. Let's say a quick contact forms you can quickly create one which you can embed on your website or you can share on social media. But for this tutorial, the first option that I will be showing you is how to create a form from scratch. So let's go back. I want to go back to the main dashboard and I'm going to be showing you how to create a form from scratch. So let's do that real quick. So you can see right here, I'm currently on the main dashboard once more. And I'm going to go over to the left hand menu option, tap on new form. After I've tapped on new form, you can add your form title. So let's say, for example, I'm creating a form title for a race. So I'll simply type in race right there. You can add your description. After you have added your description, if you want, you're going to tap on the plus right here. So I'll tap on the plus. Then from here, I will be collecting the participant's name. And I do want this to be a must. So I'm going to scroll down and you're going to see right here. Do you want this to show? So yes, I want it to always show. And I do want to require them to fill this part out. So once you have tapped on always, you can see a red asterisk will be placed on that question. Now to add another question or to remove a particular section of the question, you can do that by simply tapping on the sections that you would like to include. Now if you would like to add something else, you are going to tap on the plus once more. Once you have tapped on the plus, I would like to also collect their email address. So I'm going to tap on email. Then I'm going to also tap on always to require them to fill that section out. Then I'm going to tap on the plus once more. And from there, you can scroll down and you can select any one of these input fields as you can see here. So for instance, if you would like to collect their signature, you could tap on signature. 
But to do that, you'll need to be on the paid plan. But you can collect their signature right there. And you can also make it a requirement. So I'll tap on always once more. And from there, you can choose draw or draw and type or type only. So I'll select type only. You can do that right there. Then I'll tap on the plus once more. After you have tapped on the plus, if there's anything more that you would like to collect, or if there's anything that you would like to write on the form, let's say you want to write up something quickly, you could tap on content right there. Then you can write whatever you want. So you could write some steps, for example, that you want the persons to take or some precautions or so on. And you can add more information by tapping on the plus. After you have tapped on the plus, if you'd like to, for instance, collect money. So you want to tap on price right here. And again, as I said earlier, they do offer three different payment options. But on the free plan, you'll only be able to use Stripe. So once you tap on select Stripe, you will be redirected to a new page. And on this new page, you can enter your Stripe account information and you will be able to connect it right there. If you don't have a Stripe account, you can quickly create one. So that's how you'll be able to collect payment using this platform. And you will see the payment option right there. Once everything is there, like in as you can see right here, you will be able to set your price. Once everything is there, like in, you can scroll down. And you can see they have two options. They can select submit or if you want them to tap on update, meaning they can update it and then submit it at a later date, you can do that. Once everything is good, you will tap on preview in the top right hand corner to preview how your form looks. So let's select preview real quick and you can see how it looks right here. So I require their name, first, last name email address and also their signature and right down here where you see untitled i will fill in some quick information right there then they can tap on submit and that's it now to make it live all you'll need to do is tap on save in the top right hand corner but because i have in some paid featured so let me remove this feature real quick so i'll tap on delete so I'll tap on delete right there. So now I'll tap on save. After you have saved it, you can tap on publish from the top menu option. Once you have tapped on publish, you will be redirected to this dashboard and you have two options. You can either choose to copy the HTML code which you can embed on your site or if you simply want to share the link, you can do that by copying the link right here and you'll be able to share it on any social media platform. For example, if I were to tap on the link, you can see how it looks right here. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.